Hello Moz fans, my name's Serge, I'm a consultant at Distilled, and this is another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Today I want to take the next few minutes to talk to you about one of my processes for delivering JSON-LD recommendations. Now it's worth noting up front that at Distilled we work with a lot of large clients that have a lot of uh, pages on their website, you know, thousands, hundreds and thousands of pages. So if you work at an agency that works with local businesses or smaller clients, this process may be a bit overkill, but I hope you find some use in it regardless. Uh, so as I mentioned, oftentimes at Distilled, we get clients that have you know, hundreds and thousands of pages on their site. And you can imagine uh, if your point of contact comes to you and essentially asks, hey, uh, we don't have any markup on our site. Um, can you recommend all the JSON-LD on all the pages, please? Uh, if you're anything like me, that could be a bit daunting, right? Like, that's a big ask, um, and you can kind of start, your wheels start spinning, so to speak, and uh, oftentimes that leads to a little bit of unproductivity. So I hope this process kind of helps get you unstuck and get started and get to work. Um, the, the first step in this process, essentially, is to list out all the templates on the site. I'm assuming you're going to be dealing with, you know, an e-commerce site or something like that. And that's really the way that you're going to break down this problem and take it from kind of a, a larger picture where someone comes to you and says, hey, uh, I need all the things on all the things. And you break it down and say, OK, well, really what I need to focus on is a section at a time. And what I need to do is give recommendations for each section at a time. And to me, that's a much more kind of organized way to come at this. And it's helped me a lot. So when you list out the templates, if you've had this client for a while, you probably already know the templates that they have. If they're new, uh, it's worth getting familiar with their site and thinking about things at a template level regardless. So just simply hopping on the site, browsing around, and making a list of, you know, yeah, they have product pages and category pages and some different variations of those. They have blog pages and a bunch of other kinds of pages, and it's good to be familiar with them. Our goal is to essentially uh, recommend JSON-LD for each of those templates. So that's really the first step, is getting clear on which, which templates we're looking at and what exists on the site. The second step is to choose one of those templates, just one, and for example, like the product page template, and essentially go through that page and jot down anything you think that can be marked up. Now, if you've recommended schema before, if you've worked with JSON-LD or any kind of markup, um, you'd be familiar with a lot of the kind of standards across the board. And it, it does uh, get familiar over time. So you know, once you do this your second time, or third time, or 10th time, you'll have a good idea of what kind of markup goes on a product page, or what kind of markup goes on a category page. If it's your first time, just go on the page. And I'd encourage you to just browse through and look at schema.org or some other example sites that are similar see what they're doing, and kind of jot down by yourself uh, you know, in a notebook or something um, what you think can be marked up. So on a product page, you can note down that, yeah, you know, there's an image of the product. Uh, there's a price. There's a URL. There are breadcrumbs on the page. There are reviews, et cetera. And you're just going through and, and kind of making a list of that very simply. The next step is to essentially take those notes and convert them into JSON-LD. And at this point, people tend to kind of you know, freak out a little bit. But you don't have to be a developer to do this. It's very accessible. Um, if this is your first time going about it, I'm not going to get into all the specifics and you know, how to do that. This is more of a framework of approaching that. But there's a lot of great articles that I can link to. Um, just reach out to me, and I can hook you up with that. But the third step, again, is to convert those notes into actual JSON-LD. And that process uh, is, is fairly straightforward. What I like to do is open up the, the page or a representative URL from that template that I'm working on. So for a product page, open that up in my browser. I would like to have schema.org open. That's kind of the, the canonical resource um, for schema information. And then I also like to have a few competitor sites open that are similar. If you're working on an e-commerce brand, you're fortunate that there's a lot of great examples of sites that are doing this well, and that's publicly available to you. And you can check out what they're doing and how they're doing it. So my process is kind of just going through that list, going on schema.org, or going on a competitor site, or a previous site you've worked on. Um, you know, If you're looking at something like, let's say, uh, the cost of the product, you can look that up on schema.org. You can see that there's an offer type markup. You can copy that into the schema testing tool and essentially validate that it works. 
And once you validate it, you just go down the list further. Um, you know, if you start off with the price, you can move on to breadcrumbs, et cetera. And at the end of step three, you essentially have all the JSON LD that uh, you need, certainly the core elements, um, to, to kind of start down the next step. And the next step is to pause and check in with your point of contact because if you're working on a large scale site and you're going to have 10 or 15 of these templates you're working on for JSON LD, it's worthwhile to essentially say, hey, can we do a 30 minute check in because I'm done with the first template and I want to make sure that you know, this all makes sense and this is in a format that's going to be good for you. Uh, and speaking of format, what I like to do personally is just use Google Drive, set up a folder in the client uh, folder and title it JSON LD, give the client access to that. And within that folder, you're just going to have a bunch of different documents and each document is going to be per template. So for the product page example, you would have a document in that folder titled product JSON LD and you would copy um, any of the JSON LD that you validated in the schema testing tool and paste it in that doc. And that's what you'd be walking through with your point of contact or with a developer. And pretty much take any feedback they have. If they want it in a different format, take that into account and revise it, meet with them again, but pretty much get a green light before moving forward to work on the other templates. And that's really the next step, is at that point, you, once you have the green light, the developer feels good about it or your point of contact feels good about it, you're just going to kind of rinse and repeat. So you're going to go back to step two, you're going to choose another template. If you've done the product page one, hop over to the category page template and do the same thing. You know, jot down what can be marked up, uh, transfer those notes into JSON-LD using you know, competitor sites or similar sites. Uh, using schema.org, using the struct, uh, structured data validating tool. It's the same process and at that point you're just kind of uh, on cruise control. You know? And it, it's nice because it takes, again, something that initially could have been fairly stressful, at least for me, um, and it breaks it down in a way that you know, makes sense uh, and you can focus because of that. Uh, so again, this process has worked really well for me. Um, at Distilled, you know, we like to think about kind of frameworks and how to approach bigger problems like this and break them down and, and kind of make them more simple because we found that allows us to do our best work. Um, and this is just one of those processes. So that's all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments or if you have any uh, experiences kind of implementing or recommending JSON-LD, I'd love to hear them. Uh, so give me a shout on Twitter or in the comments or anything like that. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time.